everyone, my name is Lila from the Edison Public Library and I'm here today to show you some more crafts. So today we are going to be painting flower pots in order to make them a little more personal. Uh, I know that creative flower pots are pretty popular right now, so let's get into what you're going to need. See you in a bit. So before you start your craft, make sure to lay out a tablecloth or something to cover the table just because things are going to get a little bit messy. For this particular craft, you're going to need flower pots, paint, something to hold the paint in, paint brushes, and Mod Podge. So this is just something fun that you can get creative with, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is give your pot like a nice base coat. Um, so I'm going to start off with a nice white just because it's going to be easier for everything to show up on the white. So I can cover this up with other colors later, but the white will make everything just pop a little bit. So make sure you're painting nice even coats across your flower pot. And I'm going to keep going with this and I'll see you guys in a bit. So these are the pots after one coat of white paint. Uh, so if I want to keep them white, I'm going to definitely need another coat. But once these dry, they should be ready for any colors that I want to choose. Uh, so I'll see you guys once they dry. So in the meantime, I did a second coat of white paint. And as you can see, uh, the color came out pretty nice. Uh, so the way you're going to know if this is completely dry and ready for your decorations is the paint will no longer be sticky on your pot. So as I'm touching around, I can see it's no longer sticky and it's the same for my other pots as well. No more sticky feeling. So from here, I can just start decorating however I want. So for instance, I'm thinking with this white one, I'm probably just going to do some abstract um, shapes, maybe some dots. And again, with all of this, you're probably going to have to do a second coat of whatever you do, but the color is going to be so nice just because you put the white on there. So I'm going to keep going with this and I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're just doing a halfway uh, checkpoint. So this one is basically done. I just kind of did some random br um, brush strokes. Uh, along the, uh, the pot with just did some different colors. So this is just kind of a fun and simple one. Uh, these two are just going to need an extra coat of paint, uh, but we'll see how they turn out once I come back to you guys. See you in a bit. So while the other pot's dry, I'm just gonna show you guys what your final step is going to be. So this one is nice and dry and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cover it up with some Mod Podge. So Mod Podge is just a sealant that will allow uh, the pattern to stay on a little better. They sell different types of Mod Podge, like uh, they have a specific outdoor one. Uh, this is the one I just have available, so we're just going to use this one for now. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is just paint a thin coat of Mod Podge over your design. That way it will stay on a little better. Plus, it makes it nice and glossy as well. So again, you don't need a thick coat, just something nice and thin. And once it's all dry, it will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about like these white marks that you're seeing here. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going with this, and I'll see you guys once all the pots are done. So after you put on a nice layer of Mod Podge, these are all set for planting. Uh, so again, this is just something nice and easy. Uh, that you can do over the summer, uh, especially when you're gardening and especially for this hot weather. It's going to be very nice to have some personal planters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and I'll see you again soon. Bye!